Questions and comments? The member from Carleton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, so I listened intently to the member from Ottawa South speech, and I'm happy that he is uh, going to be supporting this bill uh, because it's very important. I wanted to uh, comment directly um, with reference to some of the organizations he mentioned in the Ottawa area. Um, on July 2 of 2019, uh, our government actually issued a press release uh, stating that we are making an additional investment on top of what was already promised of more than $5.1 million this year alone to support people, families, and caregivers in the Ottawa area. And uh, the press release actually lists 19 organizations. So, for example, Briere Continuing Care is receiving a rent supplement supportive housing program of $2,530. Uh, Canada Mental Health Association of Ottawa is receiving $625,968 this year alone. The Centre Psychosocial is receiving over $100,000. We also have the Centertown Community Health Centre, Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, Crossroads Children's Mental Health Centre, the Jewish Family Services of Ottawa, the Montfort Renaissance Inc., Ottawa Hospital Champlain, Ottawa Hospital, we're giving 10 more inpatient mental health beds, the Ottawa Inner City Health Inc., Psychiatric Survivors of Ottawa, Robert Smart Centre, Royal Ottawa Healthcare Group, Royal Ottawa Mental Health Centre, the Shepherds of Good Hope, Somerset West Community Health Center, Vanier Community Services Center, and the Youth Services Bureau, Bureau of Ottawa are all receiving additional funding, Mr. Speaker, on top of what was already uh, allotted to them this year. So uh, I'm glad that the member is supportive. Um, I think that uh, our government is taking the right steps in, uh, in providing resources, uh, as mentioned, to support these organizations so that they can protect what matters most, which is the people of Ontario. Thank you.